Welcome back to Cyrus TV. Everybody, you're watching our mid-morning report. Right now, we're going to talk all about diversity, gender diversity. How is that progressing in our industry, the financial services industry? And what is the business case for it specifically? And here with me now are Anne Cairns. She's the president, uh, international markets for MasterCard Worldwide. Leave Mostry is the chief technology and services officer at Euroclare. And Francis Van Beaver is the CFO the Chief Financial Officer here at SWIFT. Thanks to all of you guys for joining us. So let's start with, is there a business case for gender diversity? Because I think when a lot of people look at gender diversity, you know, they think, let's just throw in a, a few ladies in the boardroom and let's see how, how things go. But I mean, it has to go from a corporate PR exercise to a business imperative. Is there a business imperative? Well, I think uh, there's no question of it, and uh, it would be nice if they mm. threw a few ladies into the boardroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't think it's just gender, but I think that if you want to have a very strong business model, you need very different types of people to be interacting. Mm -hmm. If you want to be innovative, you have to have different thinkers, mm -hmm. and different thinkers mean different backgrounds, different perspectives. And you've taken this to another level at MasterCard because it's not just about the corporate side, but you've actually looked at how uh, diversity is going to innovate new products and services for MasterCard across a variety of regions. Tell us about some of the things, specific things that you've done at MasterCard? Well, we've been very clear in our own mind that we want uh, people to join the firm who come from uh, very diverse backgrounds. So that means lots of different businesses outside the world. This year, we've already recruited 37% of our workforce from outside the financial industry, and that's from technology, government, retail. Um, we, uh, we actually welcome people into the firm from many different countries and cultures. And, um, and as a result of this, if you look at our gender diversity, it's just it's just there because mm -hmm. we have 40% of women in the firm, 33% of the operating committee are women, and two of the top jobs at the executive level, the CFO and myself. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think, you know, it's not one diversity initiative or anything like that, it's a culture mm -hmm. of, of inclusion. I think this is a great achievement from MasterCard. I like to say that uh, gender diversity is not a topic of equality or fairness. I like to say that the companies need the ladies more than the ladies need the company. Mm. There is a strong business case. I think diverse decisions look at the problem from many more dimensions, and with that you have a much better decision taken. Mm. And with that you have much more debate, and you are much, much more certain about the way you progress mm. Uh, after your decision. Secondly, women are half of the talent pool of a company. We recruit now half of them. It's really a shame and a pity and a waste of energy mm -hmm. if you don't continue to pull on that uh, half of your talent pool going forward in the organization. Mm -hmm. This being said, I'm not as positive as Anne. I am 30 years in finance, mm -hmm. Western Europe I must say, and I believe that not that much has progressed and has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very sad to say I'm the only woman on the board of SWIFT. Mm -hmm. We used to be three on 25. Last year we had a reshuffle and I'm still the only one. So that is a bit indicative of what is happening in the financial sector. Wh what do you think is, is, is the stumbling block? What is acting as the obstacle? I think it would be too easy if there were just one to point out. I think there is a sum of things on which we have to reflect carefully. Uh, there is uh, I think there is a challenge on how female talent gets recognized in our organization. Mm -hmm because it manifests itself mm -hmm. differently. Um, uh, a man with results, another man will find it out easily and recognize it. Mm -hmm. The woman that has a lot of results as a manager, mm -hmm. it will come through the results of her teams. Mm -hmm. She will not put herself mm -hmm. ahead of those. Mm -hmm. And so it takes a bit more time to recognize those. And so it is about both educating men and women 
how to interact more positively and to get to that goal. Before we come back to Anne, I want to go to this brave guy <laughs> that's sitting on this panel <laughs> with us now. Tell us your thoughts, Francis. Uh, well, I definitely feel like a mi minority today. I fully agree with, you know, uh, it's only what Anne said about diversity is not about one, one dimension. I've always been convinced that you, know, you need to have a balanced team if you mm -hmm. want to be successful. And in finance, you need to be careful, for instance, that you don't have the same profiles, but you might have also a couple of creative mm -hmm. guys on the mm -hmm. team to bring you more solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, over time, I've also become you know, more aware of the need to bring gender diversity in. Uh, and I find it really difficult. Uh, and what created my awareness is that we lost in my team a few high potential women. Mm -hmm. And so the challenge is not only to identify them, but then how do you keep them, how do you recognize them, and to avoid that you know, they go in other directions. Mm -hmm. So that's to me a, a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And indeed at Swift, uh, we have some work to do. We have 30% of women in the workforce and only 18% in the management ranks, mm -hmm. but at least you know, as we were discussing with Leif, we've started measuring it mm -hmm. and now you know, it's becoming, we are becoming aware of the issue mm -hmm. and then uh, over time we'll have to change the culture and make sure we, we bring more women to the top. Mm -hmm. You know, I think women rising to the top is very important. And, you know, I would say, uh, and I agree, by the way, in the financial sector that mm -hmm. uh, we're not making much progress. Mm -hmm. I went down to South Africa a couple of weeks ago, met the woman who's running the central bank there and mm -hmm. thought, great, you know, mm -hmm. head of the central bank. And I thought, how many of those are there? There's 8% around wow. the world and you know you can count on one hand mm -hmm. you, you know who they are mm -hmm. um, and uh, but when you look over in America and you see the tech industry mm -hmm. then you say well just a minute the mm. CEO of IBM the CEO of Xerox um, you know um, the CEO of eBay was mm -hmm. a woman you, uh, you you have the CEO of Yahoo mm -hmm. you have the CEO of Facebook Sheryl mm -hmm. Sandberg you know and you go hang on mm -hmm. this industry is doing incredibly mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. so you know is that a combination of the fact it's a young mm -hmm. growing industry and changing very fast mm -hmm. I mean maybe that's something mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but we need to look at this and say, why are women being so successful mm -hmm. there? Because they really are. Maybe we can invite them to Boston next year <laughs> and find <laughs> out, huh? Francis, let, let, let me ask you, uh, Anne and Leave. I mean, you've, you've, you both have done phenomenally well in what I don't think anybody will challenge me in what has been a man's world in financial services. Uh, what advice would you give to women who are within the sort of middle management, uh, what should they be doing in order to one day sit in these seats, if you like? Because I know we as women, we never like to push ourselves forward. We never like to say, hey, I'm so great, look at me, I did that. Yeah. Not that I'm saying all men do, but, <laughs> but uh, I think we're, we're worse at it. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that you know you need to be very positive about your career and you need to manage it. Mm. Um, you know some that of the things that Liv was saying about you know women expect to be recognised. Don't yeah. expect no. it. Mm -hmm. You know um, it's not about um, you know parading your wares. Mm. It's more about saying. What do I want to achieve? Mm -hmm. What do I want for my next job? Mm -hmm. Actually go out there and ask yeah. for it. Aspire to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. See something. I think the waiting attitude is really the thing not to do. Mm -hmm. You have to try to stay in control, make yourself a number of reasonable goals and then go after them and don't be shy about it. Mm -hmm. But stay your own personality because you don't have to totally change and adjust. Mm -hmm. you, you have to stay a woman. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, I yes, think you should, yes. not ch you should not change your person, Absolutely. but you can be much more outspoken, a bit more assertive about it. I think that is certainly an advice I would give. And well, if you take the advice of the minority, I would say believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, the, yeah. the big difference uh, is the job opening and the guy is 80% ready, you say, mm -hmm. yeah, I can do it. I can it. definitely yeah, yeah. do that. And yeah. I've recently a case, you know, you promote a yeah. relatively young, high potential woman. Yeah. She's 90% ready mm -hmm. and she starts speaking about the 10% she's missing. Yeah. And I think that's a big difference. Yeah. And yeah. It's what I, uh, so I would really say, believe in your capabilities mm -hmm. and, and that would so be... And play yes. on your strengths because, uh, you know, women are often, uh, you know, said to be very good at multitasking. Mm -hmm. But, you know, how many jobs do you have in senior management these days where you're not 
multitasking. Mm -hmm. You know, the, mm -hmm. the world is very sort of connected and uh, interactive now. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of many different things mm -hmm. at once. Um, you know, that's a strength, play on that. Yeah. I want to just uh, draw everybody's attention to something I pulled off your website at MasterCard. There is a document there called Global Diversity and Inclusion. And for anybody, in whether you are a very large company or a very small company, this, I think, is your starting Bible. It tells you what are the kinds of things, what kinds of infrastructure you need to start uh, thinking about and putting in place. I mean, some of the things they have here that you guys are doing at MasterCard, you're probably better at saying this. <laughs> than me, but you've got a chief diversity officer, you've got a global diversity and inclusion council, mm -hmm. you've got a global diversity office, you've got eight business resource groups to take advantage of the unique uh, attributes of employees, you've got a supplier diversity program, and you have an annual summit. So these are the kinds of measures, because I think sometimes when people talk about this topic, it tends to go to a man versus woman thing. And I, I really believe there is an appetite in every corporate boardroom to do something, it's just what do we do? Absolutely, and I think what you're reflecting is what I said at the beginning, there's no one initiative, mm -hmm. it's actually completely embedded right mm -hmm. across the company the way that we think, mm -hmm. and it, that makes a huge difference. Final and thoughts. I think, yeah, I think measuring where we stand and how we progress is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And I think what we've started to do here at SWIFT today is that we have started to look at where are the female speaker, speakers in the different panels, in the different conferences. We have set a target, which we have not reached, but at least we know it, mm -hmm. we measure it. Mm -hmm. And so we hope that by next year we will be just as little minority as Francis is today, because <laughs> that would already be an achievement. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I mean, every, uh, report that I've read from McKinsey to Bain to everywhere, it says the more women that you have at senior management positions within your organization, you actually outperform not only the industry, but the market, the financial market as well. So final thoughts as a call to action for all the bankers that are here in this conference, what would they be? <laughs> Well, I, uh, you know, I would say, you know, take very seriously uh, the next recruitment decision, the next promotion decision, and think about getting the mix and the balance of your company mm -hmm. right. And what I would add to that is don't believe the easy explanation that you don't find the lady with the equal uh, capabilities. Mm -hmm. It's just that you have not looked good enough. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, I believe we need to start with small steps because it's, it's uh, cultural change. Mm. So, you know, start with small things. Uh, we have starting, we discussed, we had a very long discussion after yes. a board meeting about quotas, no yeah. quotas. Now, for instance, for all senior management position, if we recruit outside, we want to have both genders represented in a short list. Mm. Those are small things, but mm -hmm. over time it will change the culture. Okay. Great, thanks very much to Thank all you. of you for joining us. Francis, again, he's a brave guy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, definitely, thanks to all of you.